things don't always go your way when you get out there on the water. Sometimes things will go wrong, and they can turn your world upside down, just like some of the events we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Oslo, Norway, where the Color Lines cruise ship Color Fantasy was leaving Oslo on its way to Germany when all of a sudden somebody decided to get in their way and cause a little bit of drama. Here the cruise line can be seen approaching this private pleasure vessel, and it's alerted the vessel that it's coming multiple times with horn sounds, but for whatever reason, this vessel just refused to get out of the cruise ship's way. Now fortunately at the last moment, the vessel was able to move far enough to the side for the cruise ship just barely to get by this boat, but this really is a high drama tense situation. This vessel is extremely close to being run down by the cruise ship. Not only that, I'm sure the suction of this cruise ship being this close to it's probably trying to draw the vessel closer to the ship. This really is a wild scene to watch. Somehow, fortunately, this pleasure vessel narrowly escapes the cruise ship. But at this time, there's not a whole lot of information. It's undetermined if maybe this vessel had mechanical failure or if they were just being stubborn. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to keep us over in Europe, but move us over to the Netherlands, where this was the scene just a few weeks ago when a 70 meter cargo vessel accidentally made a wrong turn down a residential canal and this havoc ensued. The vessel had started its day in Bergen and made its way to Leeuwarden when it was transiting down the Van Herma Canal when all of a sudden the skipper fell ill and somehow they accidentally made a left hand turn into a residential canal. The vessel, as it transited down this canal, wound up colliding with several boats, docks, and jetties, causing massive damage along the way. Other crew members on board the vessel were able to douse the captain with water to try and get him back to coherent so they could get the vessel under control. They do eventually get this vessel stopped, but once again, the damage is already done at this point. Somehow miraculously in this event though, this vessel did transit down the canal and the only damage was property damage and nobody was actually injured during this event. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Australia, where we got another wild scene this past week as a man was out fishing at Finglehead Rocks when all of a sudden things took a turn for the worse, and several boaters and jet skiers had to come in to try and rescue the man as he was pinned against the rocks in a four foot surf. The man had gone out to Finglehead to try and do some fishing off the rocks that day. Unfortunately, a wave caught him and drug him into the water. Witnesses say the man was in the water for approximately 30 minutes fighting for his life when all of a sudden rescue crews did show up, but it took multiple attempts due to heavy seas and being so close to the rocks for them to be able to get close enough to the gentleman to be able to pull him out of the water. The rescue crews caught a break when they were able to toss the man a life buoy which he was able to grab onto which allowed them just to be able to get close enough to grab the line from the life buoy and be able to drag him back out to a boat further offshore and to safety. The man later admitted it was a rookie error that caused him to be in the water. He caught a large fish, went a little close to the water to try and pull it out and all of a sudden things went wrong. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to keep us over in Australia, and it's going to take us to a popular tourist destination called Horizontal Falls, where a few boat companies actually run tours where you can get on a vessel and run the canyons and ride through these falls. Unfortunately, last week, one of these tour vessels crashed into the rock wall with 28 people on board. This story's been an interesting one because there have been multiple different scenarios tossed out. At this time, it does appear that the vessel crashed into the rock wall. Initial reports said the vessel capsized and people were in the water, but it turns out that doesn't appear to be the fact. It doesn't appear that anybody actually went in, but multiple people were hurt during this event from the collision, which caused an extreme problem, as this location is exceptionally remote, which means that local medical services are not immediately available. In fact, it took almost 18 hours to get all 28 passengers evacuated out of this location to where they could receive treatment for any injuries. At this time, the event is currently under investigation to try and determine the cause of the accident, whether it possibly was captain error or mechanical failure. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Troy Leach, Kelly McCannum, Newt Jacobson, Suri Tolsby, Andrew Cleland, and Meat Span did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.